Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back. This is day three of my 30 bags in 30 day challenge. Okay, so this is day three in my 30 bags in 30 day challenge. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what this is about, I'm spending the entire month of April, every single day, one bag, going around the house and getting rid of junk, all right? Junk, <laughs> not stuff that I could use, but junk. I want to uh, declutter and that's the only way I know how to do it. I don't have to go area per area. I can just walk around the house and as I see things, I'm either going to relocate them, I'm going to trash them if they are completely busted or used or non-usable and donate if I see something that needs to be donated, okay? So that's the challenge. Some of you have joined already. I hope this is working out for you. I'm just gonna grab my bag and go around the house and let's see what we can find today. So I'm back in the living room. I have my bag right here. And again, you don't have to use big bags. Um, when I do closet, I'll definitely use larger trash bags. But for areas like this, it's just a matter of like little tiny items. I'm fine with a bag that's a grocery bag, okay? So uh, yesterday I did those two drawers over there and I'm just gonna go around you know, you just go around your house, basically. This is supposed to go to the basement. And I pulled this thing out um, yesterday. This is a basket that's very nice. It's usable. It's not busted or anything. So that is going to be a donate. So I'm going to put it to the side because I'm donating this. So I'm going to count it as something that fills up in the basket. And then there's something else that I want to donate um, that I have had for a very long time and absolutely never used all right so let me pull this out first hold on it's this thing right here i don't even think if you can see it yet. there we go all right this okay oh here's the uh, bowl for the dogs okay that's good all right um this was given to me i never used it i don't care for it so guess what this is a perfectly good item um, don't mind the dust bunny. So that's another thing I can donate. I'm not gonna throw that away because this is good So this is donate. Okay, I'm going up. I know there's nothing in here. Oh, there is Oh, well, there you go. Huh the top of a candle. That's trash more pans uh, Picture that Scott when he was a little guy That can actually be put on the tray um, Get rid of this this, I don't know what that is. This, the kids have to take care of it. You see the dust? Look at the dust. Huh. And then more pen. Okay. Getting rid of this one. This, this is empty. Keep that. Ah, uh, linen closet. I just did that a couple of months ago. So I know that everything that's in here I'm keeping. But this, I'm not. So that's a perfectly good, um, basket you put in the shower that's donate and I'm in here let me see what I got um okay these are all dried up no they're not okay so this I can keep um tissue I can keep so that's that and then I have these soaps that I had bought at the dollar store that I do not use at all they've been here for a long time and they're brand new so those are gonna be donated as well another pencil they're everywhere sock that goes somewhere else toilet paper okay this is old and busted that can go this is old and busted that can go and I'm in the kids bathroom let me see what we got here all right so these are the soaps I use now. This one, um, I can still use. This one, I know we didn't like at all. So that's trash. Not gonna, gonna donate a half a soap. What's this thing here? I don't know, I can't see. All right, so these are good, but that toothbrush is, I don't even know. I must have used it for cleaning something. That's trash. I don't know what I got there no metal thing I can trash that the borax thing is pretty much empty that goes and this I can keep these are the trash bags and all right so now this is empty this one is full 
that's conditioner that's another conditioner here's the shampoo you can smell it it's still good all right so I'm keeping that that's an old cup that can go and that's the top to the other one that goes with this and it's nowhere in here here this that can go keep that keep that keep this 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 is good and what do we have here and these are all dried up that can go this is half empty that can go this is a medication that has no cap that can go oh goodness okay trash and do your kids do this do they do this that's disgusting trash okay going underneath the sink what do we have oh god i don't even know how many years this has been here oh it smells awful all right so that's trash what's this adhesive grout I bet it's all dried up too. All right, I'm gonna bring it to the basement. These are gloves. This is the guest thing. Goes in here. Cleaning pads and Dawn detergent that can stay here. So, and these I'm gonna keep here because I use them when I clean the toilet in here. And what is this? Another top of a candle. You see the stuff you find? All right. That's trash. Okay, back in the dining room, I'm done for today. So here's my bag of trash. And here's the stuff that I'm donating. Um, basket, candle thing, and then some perfectly good soaps and a uh, shower caddy thing, okay? So this was day three of my 30 bags in 30 day challenge. I want to take the time to answer some of the negative comments that were left on the channel yesterday after I posted the first video. A lot of you felt very strongly about the fact that I threw away some stuff instead of recycling it or donating it. All right. So I'm just going to give you my piece on that. Today you saw me donate stuff. All right. I am donating stuff that I know can be sold by Goodwill. I am not going to waste Goodwill's time by giving them a whole bunch of items that I know they're going to throw away because they can not sell them and in case you didn't know because I know people who work at Goodwill the stuff that you donate if they cannot sell it most of the time they also cannot give it out for free and they actually have to pay for a company to come in and haul the stuff away and it ends up in the landfill anyway so let's take a few examples Yesterday I threw away a bunch of lotions and a lot of you got real upset about that. Okay, number one, those lotions were three years old. They had been open, they were um, exposed to air and they turned rancid, all right? I'm not going to donate that. I'm not going to insult the women's shelter. I am not going to insult the goodwill worker by giving them lotions that are very obviously not usable. You just can't recycle that, all right? I'm sorry, some of the stuff you just got to throw away. The the same goes with pants. I've tried to give away pants to my school. They will only take new stuff. I'm not going to waste their time and insult them by giving them a whole bunch of pencils that have no erasers or pencils that are um, dented, half broken or failed so many times that the lead inside is broken and you just can't, you know, you sharpen them and the lead continues to fall. Like you have to use common sense sometimes. Like I know that I have a lot of stuff. I know I have a hoarding problem though most people would not consider it hoarding but I do. I do have a lot of stuff and there's a lot of stuff being purchased and tossed in this house however again use common sense now I understand that when people go through this process they don't usually make the best decisions as to what is keepable and what can be sold but I'm telling you like you cannot donate or um, recycle 
everything. There's some stuff that you're just gonna have to throw away. Like I've tried with pens, for instance, like my, my school system, I can tell you right now, they will not take used pens. They just won't. So I've already tried to give them away to other school system that I would think would be more in needs and even them don't want the used stuff. They just don't. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna throw them away. Um, am I gonna put them in the recycle bin? No. And am I going to put everything in a huge container and drive 24 miles, because that's 12 back and forth, right? 24 miles and waste gas to bring stuff to Goodwill that I know they are not going to put on the shelves for sale, okay? And let's face it, like Goodwill, I love them, but there's a lot of stuff that people donate that they just don't take. People donate clothes all the time to Goodwill and most of them they do not keep because they are not sellable. If there is a stain on them that cannot be removed, they are not going to sell it. If you want to donate stuff to Goodwill and you know it's damaged, it's frayed or whatever, like use your best judgment. Like not everything they're going to sell. So mark it as rag on it and then they'll ship it to a company that will uh, rip them apart or even and take the threads out and they make blankets out of it. Usually they send that stuff to India. Okay, and you know those big containers that you see on the side of the road, the nature clothes? All right, there's a little uh, disclaimer at the bottom that says that they partner with international shipping companies. All right, but the clothes you put in there, they actually don't go to Goodwill. They go to big containers on boats. They go to um, India or Pakistan or countries like that in the Far East, and they just disassemble those clothes. They really do, and they take the threads out, they re-dye them, and they make blanket out of them, and this is how they make the blankets that go to prisons. I, I worked in prisons, I know that. <laughs> so I can tell you that a lot of the blankets that we get in shelters here in America and a lot of the blankets that we get in the prison system come from old clothes that were donated but not sellable, so they get shipped overseas and they get recycled into blankets. So that I get. But again, like, don't be upset. Like the, Some of the stuff I just can't donate so there's no need to be insulting there's no need to be negative um there's no need to be like all up in roar over this there's some stuff i'm just not gonna insult a woman's shelter with i'm sorry like those lotions i wasn't gonna give them away the candle i probably could have given it away i was just like in a rush so fine all right i'll take that the candle i could have donated but the rest of the stuff nah when i see something that i know is usable can be sold at goodwill somebody can use and is actually going to give more life later on yeah i'll donate that but all busted dried up pens and highlighters that don't highlight anymore and pencils that have no lead or pencils that have no eraser or ink pens that are runny and no cap come on like really <laughs> come on all right, so this was day three of my 30 bags in 30 days. Use your best judgment. This is your home. You guys throw away what you want to throw away. You recycle what you want to recycle and you donate what you want to donate. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.